Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some exercises that are really going to help you to strengthen your knee joint, to strengthen your shoulder joint, and most important is we are also going to be working on the abdominal muscles. Top three exercises. And if you stay with me right till the end, right at the end, I'm going to give you an amazing exercise that is going to release all the, uh, all the pressure from your back joint. So if you're ready, just stay on. A lot of you have been saying that Dinas, we cannot do a lot of exercises standing, we're losing balance. And that's why I've got these series of chair exercises which you can actually do from the comforts of your own home. The first exercise is going to be for your knee joint. Now the knee is a very complex joint and the most important thing for you to get rid of all the aches and pains in your knee joint are to work on the upper thigh muscles which are the quadricep muscles to work on the back thigh muscles and to work on the lower leg muscles. When you work on the surrounding muscles, the muscles surrounding the knee joint, you will be able to relieve yourself of your aches and pains. Why? Because inside the knee joint, there are more ligaments rather than muscles. And these ligaments do not have a lot of elasticity. So that is why working around it will support the knee joint. When the knee joint is supported, you're going to be able to easily and effortlessly get rid of your aches and pains. So don't get hassled about the fact that you have to get to a physiotherapist. You can become your own physiotherapist. You can become your own coach and you can do these exercises from the comforts of your own home so I want you to sit on a chair a little bit at the edge and in this position I want you to keep your knees straight 90 degrees back straight we always tend to slouch why because of some belly fat or some loose muscles we tend to drop our back down posture is super important so the first thing is back erect chin up and in this position keep your palms here and I want you to palpate on the uh, on the muscle above the knee joint it's an exercise that you all have done several times probably with a physiotherapist but I'm going to make sure that I share with you the right posture and the technique okay so sitting at the edge of the chair will really help you and focus on this muscle which is the muscle right above the knee joint I'm going to be working on my left leg because I'm mirror imaging you. Make sure that you are on your right leg and let's do this together. Stay here and squeeze out and back. What you will see is you might want to tilt back because the other muscles are compensating. If you do that, you're really not focused on this muscle that you really need to do. Just this tiny big, big muscle over here. Just this tiny muscle, the quadricep. Okay, so squeeze out and come back. That is why I said, if you put your fingers here or if you put your fingers like this, you're going to palpate and feel the muscle. I want you to feel the muscle. Two, three, don't tilt backwards. Four, five, hold for five seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come back. Just relax your back a little bit. Keep going. You know why? We're not giving up. We are going to get rid of these aches and pains. There's no doubt about that. Put your fingers here, palpate, squeeze and back. Initially, you might feel a little bit of, uh, uh, what's it called? A little bit of clicking sounds. Okay. Don't bother. Allow it to click. Okay. It's all opening up for you. One, hold and squeeze. Two, hold and squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can already feel the muscle burning. Nine. Let's try to hold it up there. Ten. If your muscles are weak, you'll want to fold your leg very fast. But if your muscles are strong, you'll be able to hold it. And in this position, Tighten these muscles a lot and come back, relax. So this exercise was for your knee joint. The next exercise I want to show you for your shoulder joint, whether you have shoulder pain, neck pain, spondylitis or arthritic shoulders, you can do this exercise. Very simple, again seated on a chair, sit at the edge of the chair, grab your dumbbells. Now if you're in severe pain, 
I would suggest that don't use any dumbbells. But if you're in moderate pain, you can use 1 kg dumbbells. If you're a little stronger and you don't have any issue, just to strengthen that muscle, you can actually use 1.5 kg, but no more than 1.5 kgs for this particular exercise. This exercise is called the side lateral raise, where we are going to work on lifting the arm up. And a few things that you need to remember is when you lift, make sure that your wrist is not bent, your wrist is in one line and you come back. So keep your back absolutely erect, abs are held in tight and squeeze up and back. Squeeze up and back. Control. Squeeze up, hold, pause and come back. Squeeze up, hold, pause and come back. Squeeze up and come back. And up. And five more. Squeeze up. Abdominals held in tight. Just relax. And back. Lift. You can do it without your weights. You can use water bottles, but I'd rather that you start investing in your own health and hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Put the dumbbells down, bend down, put the dumbbells down and relax. Just breathe and relax. So these are all exercises where you can do one upper body and one lower body, one ab. You can do anything. The combination is yours. But the most important thing is creating a scientifically designed workout is very important. The third exercise for today and remember stay with me till the end because I'm going to give you a bonus tip for, for relaxing your back muscles. So the third exercise is for your abdomen. Again, try not to lean backwards. Try not to sit against unless it is a straight dining room chair. Sit up nice and tall and all I want you to do is pull your belly in, hold it there and relax. Pull your, we are working on the lower abs. Pull your belly in, hold it there and relax. Pull your belly in, squeeze in and relax. Squeeze in and round and straighten up. So did you see I worked on the lower abs, now I'm working on the upper abs at the same time. Squeeze in, round and come up. Squeeze in, round and come up. Squeeze in, round and come up. I'm sure that by now you're already feeling the pressure coming in and the muscle being activated of the core muscle, which is your abdominal muscle. And come back. Four more to go. Four. And squeeze in. Three. Two. And don't be in a hurry. Last one. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. Hold it there. And relax. So these were the three beautiful exercises that we did. It was like a mixed workout where we did one exercise for the thigh, one for the shoulder and one for the ab. And now the bonus exercise, which is a stretch which you can do anytime, anywhere in your home while your back is tired. So for example, if you're a homemaker and you're tired of standing and doing your uh, work or you're cooking your house jobs, you can do this. And if you're a working professional and you're seated at a chair for a long time, get up, walk around and come back and then do this stretch and you'll start feeling much better. So again, sit at the edge of the chair a little bit more drop your back down and let your fingers loose even if you can touch the floor don't by leaving your fingers loose you're allowing gravity to do the work and then look in between your knee joint and you're relaxing your muscles hold it there for 30 seconds and slowly one vertebrae at a time i want you to come up and this was an amazing stretch for your back. You can do it any number of times in a, in a week, if you want, in a day if you want to. Very safe exercises, really and truly. Hope you all really liked this video. If you like this, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. 
and most important share this video with other people around you especially those of you who know people who have aches and pains thank you once again for being here